Ricky Gemini here, broadcasting from the dark chasms of the abyss, here to give you some more of what I can see through the cracks and cracks of the little hole that I've been in. Here on the Vault of Doom Podcast Season 3 finale, I don't have an intro for you. I don't have an uh, interlude music for you. I just have me jabbering and babbling basically to get this one over with in the shortest amount of time possible. But I do have some cool updates for you guys on me and whatever else I have happened to come across for what I want to talk about on the show. This is the this is the way that I freaking have have to put it. I have to word it like this. Uh, out with the old and with the new and that goes for that whole season of the last season with all the intro theme music that has been serving me so well so far I have to say goodbye to it now and add a whole new introduction music introductory music and I gotta say I'm not looking forward to it at all (coughs) so having the stuff float around in my head about that I can deal with it, but it's it's cool. It's it's still cool. It's fine. I'm just not looking forward to it at all. But as for the other stuff that I have to I'll give you guys updates on, uh, for some reason or other, after I've released the, the movie, I have I have just literally had everything for the music sort of work out the way that it needs to work out for upcoming releases from me being uh, being in, in, in a 30 uh, 30 day deadline basically a 30 day a 30 day notice I gave myself before these have to be these new releases have to be out and switching things up for myself a little bit too uh, I also have the freaking the, the release that was actually supposed to be out um, this this month in three weeks uh, I've just completely changed my mind on it completely totally changed my mind on the September release so that's good take away what deadline I did have feels good about to do about that and then set a new deadline for all this other stuff feels even better considering that these releases that I have coming out are pr- for the most part pretty much just uh, th- just conceptual right now like literally just just entirely conceptual and I don't have any material for them at all really so what you can look forward to enjoying if you are listening to the show do listen to my music and are and what I'm saying is in alignment with what you're hearing as well as what you're thinking about then what you can look forward to is the stuff uh, I think I lost my train of thought Uh, what you can look forward to however is the stuff that has I'm I'm like trying to like grasp my train of thought but it's not there so whatever Uh, what, what you can look forward to with these releases here are certainly going to be yeah I'm still just trying to grab for it but it's not there <sighs> anyway moving on moving on along then it, it helps when I do a little bit more of the capping off finishing off what I was saying and that is mostly to do with these upcoming releases that is what I was generally what I was going to discuss anyway so I could just stick to that for now the stuff that's going to be released that I did not have a deadline for now has a deadline of 30 days. That's, uh, that's, what, that's what that was. And then the stuff that was supposed to be released in three weeks has no longer got any deadline. So it'll, it'll have a deadline that I'll announce soon, but it needs one. It needs it to be announced. It needs to be anticipated. For it is actually the soundtrack album and basically the concept of 
every movie there is just belief. So the movie's doing good. There's plenty of, plenty of views going on those consistently. There's uh, the podcast, this show, also doing pretty good. It's pretty consistent as well. And, well, as I'm recording this too, I'm also realizing that uh, this is the season finale, so I can just kind of let loose for this episode and just get my thoughts out there, get to set the space, set the pace, and just see where I'm at with everything. And that is good why I just capped off those upcoming EPs, as well as the movie, basically brushing over. Now, anyway, the other stuff that is, uh, as far as upcoming stuff, is really just the show. This show, the new season, the new theme song, the new interlude music. As I said, all that stuff served me quite well for season three. But now that I'm moving on along here to season four, with the, I can decide whether I want to even continue right away with the, with the fifth season this year or just wait till next year for that. But I don't see the point in doing that. I just know if I do start to do that and then I go and, and hit off season three around the holidays, or five, I'm sorry, season five around the holidays, then I'll have all all of that carry over me through to Valentine's Day-ish or actually like exactly Valentine's Day and then carrying on from Valentine's Day through down through the summer like 4th of July-ish and then from 4th of July just just like basically back back around where I started so I think I might have to just decide to do that then. Start off, I'll just start start off by by saying, putting it really simple like this. You can expect season five around Thanksgiving, and then you can expect like whatever else comes in between and after and during the following Thanksgiving. But nonetheless, I have to also pretty much keep really good and accurate self-discernment of what the caliber of this show is what the show is capable of what the show looks like and may appear to be because I, I, I stand by my original opinions of my own creation where I, when I look at it it's very basic very ground level unless you know what to listen for or unless you know what you're looking for or unless you like black metal music that is of course I often can uh, honestly say that I can I can consider who it is that may be you know not able to discuss the fact that black metal music is an important is an important uh, full sentence and phrase to have all together in one piece and in, in, in the event that someone might get confused or get the wrong idea of what 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 you can what you could perceive if you leave out the music or if you leave out the music part in the phrase. But most importantly for the, the, the main thing that I don't need to have to worry about and don't have to be too worried about is the the, the show is it's got it's uh to carry on the same premise of supernatural stuff. And that's just for me to not only be worried about in general, but it's also to not be worried about with all the stuff that is uh, possibly might be missing or that I can't talk about. I can always talk about Supernatural and all this other stuff. don't have to worry about it. And all the other stuff that I don't have to worry about as well is for me sticking to my own script and sticking to my guidelines. So if you have enjoyed this season so far I would very very much like for you guys to comment like share subscribe add your feedback because that keeps me well that keeps me that keeps the show running well Uh, it's important to me that the show runs well and all of this stuff can be just just basically sourced and revolve around my official personal profiles 
that have my name, Mickey Gemini, on social medias, where you can, you can even send me a DM if you have anything else that you would like to discuss, such as guest appearances, or if you would like to invite yourself or request an invite to be on the show for interviews. Interviews. I actually recently, in the last episode, mentioned something I saw. One of the artists that I interviewed, and then I also uh, mentioned to him, was able to have the opportunity to talk to these artists and interview them, though the episodes were not broadcasted, and then I was able to tell the artists about it afterwards, at least one of them, that, you know, hey, this was a pleasure having you, and thanks for your time, and all this stuff. So the other thing that I hadn't done after those two things was mention it again on here, which brings everything full circle. That uh, I, it doesn't leave much room for planning or making plans or anything. But it, if I do have that stuff in alignment, like I said, like I do right now, then it does. So I'm still still trying to get a, one specific artist on this show. That would be good to let you guys know about ahead of time, as uh, it's just once again basically however I'm feeling. Any of the episodes that I want on Spotify audio only, and any of the episodes I want on video on YouTube, will be up to me. It's my prerogative, and sometimes I'm lazy, so I don't always want to do it. But I can say this, I do, and I do know this, that some of the shows and podcasts that I like have started off with that laziness. This is like a forewarning to me as well as a listener if you have your art show. They start off with that laziness of missing an episode from YouTube or missing an episode from Spotify, one or the other, and the next thing you know, the podcast isn't even running anymore. Uh, At least on one of those cases... The show never came back. On the other case, the show left for a while from you from YouTube and then came back. So that's also helping establish a little bit sort of the ground basis of where I'm at with the show. But I definitely do not want to be handling and juggling around so many topics and things and just having my mind go on the fritz like this. So as I said, I can stick to the guidelines from now on of strictly upcoming projects for me and recent releases from me as well as the fun stuff or whatever other stories and stuff to talk about and everything. <clears throat> now then, with moving on with uh, moving on then with the other stuff that's got what got me uh, looking at myself from the, ge- the the general perspective of basically living under a rock and in the crack is what I can see through the crack that. It provides a pretty valuable source of journalism for me. It provides me a very, what I would consider a very valuable source of, of journalism that I can come across only things that are important and then come across stuff that I can build on and start off with this stuff that I come across and then build on it. Now, one of the things that I'm bad with is, however, writing the stuff down. When I do write this stuff down, it doesn't work out. Second of all, specifically, what I'm actually bad with is the apps and the software and the stuff that I'm learning about how to use this technology. That there's a few little things and notes here and there about stuff that I didn't write down and I didn't remember and didn't voice, didn't like, didn't talk to myself or like, you know, think to myself or thinking out loud about it, like this app has to do this and this app wants this and this app. Cause it's, it's not that it's not important and it's not even that it's worth talking about but uh, somewhere along the lines I keep that space open because somewhere down the line the stuff pops up and it becomes relevant and it's so an important issue to discuss and something I need to talk about later. So then, uh, so then the, uh, the, the other stuff that I actually do would consider real news that is where I have to allow you guys the, the, the consistent time within the episode to unleash all of the news that I actually have on what's uh, new, what's happening, 
as I don't seek this stuff out, I literally, it's the same concept, only some of this stuff is, is, is usable, and it does just come to me, it just finds me, so I don't, I, I still, it's still also unusable, and then of course, the, the third and final, so there's the, the software, the apps, the phone stuff, the technology stuff, then there's the, the actual music news, as, as you already have, I, I could say this very clearly and plainly and frankly and cut and dry to you is that I don't I know I don't have the ability to provide to provide valuable news to you in competition with larger sources. What I can do is is other stuff in the meantime or a different kind of that same thing in terms of underground stuff but you guys already know the hashtags and you already know the drill around here so uh, I'm not even going to bother repeating it but I will anyway music news music no I got it, I got it wrong see that's important to say it every now and then metal music metal podcast metal music metal news metal podcast and also a hashtag. Hashtags on those, and then another hashtag. And black metal. Now, the other things that are changing up on this episode, on this show, it's not as important to discuss as it is. It is is to remind myself as well, and, and you guys, that that's what we just covered right now. Is the stuff that's changing on the show. And where I'm really at with news, where I'm really at with news on technology, where I'm really at with news in the music world, and then what I'm actually able to provide. Maybe it's yet to be, maybe it's yet to be discovered. Maybe I don't know yet, but I do know the platform and the outfit and the, and the, the orifice and the ability to, pro- to broadcast any of this stuff and use this show as a medium is something to keep alive the way, same way that I've been doing it. And that's why I kind of just kind of sort of just continue going over it as, as many times as possible. That's, uh, that's, that's why I'm dealing, why I'm dealing with so many changes in this show here. I'm going over all this stuff a uh, billion times and now, the visuals on the YouTube's changed, the, the theme song on the audio's changed, and uh, those two episodes that have some story uh, at the end of the episode, and then the adding of songs, featuring some songs, using it to show you guys some songs that I'm making, uh, you know, that's always cool too. You know, doing it at the beginning of the episode, and the one, uh, the one episode I only did the one ep- one track at the end of the show. But ultimately, the real the, the stuff that I'm coming across is uh, I seem to be drawing a blank on this episode, and I also want to make this one pretty short, so I'll have to just jump into story time. Now, th- then this would be not a supernatural. This would be more of in a like dangerous in- event that happened uh, but please do not expect any of this craziness in next season I don't have I don't, I don't have any freaking idea why the hell that I'm so inconsistent with most things but So the way that uh, I want to like to start off this this story is basically with uh, the the, the pick, put it put place me downtown in a downtown area. It's nighttime. It's the middle of winter. I'm up to some. I'm with friends. I'm with two friends, and we're up to some shenanigans. I don't know what it is, but we're running from something, most likely like some police or something, and then 
I'm in the fucking, next thing I know, I'm on the top of a fucking roof with my buddies, and we're trying to hop over a fence on from the top of a roof onto some ice. And I slipped, fell, and just like busted my shit. And then fucking was like perfectly good, got up like I was all good, and then walked away. Now, in the same area, I have to add this other story too. In the same area that this story happened, there's a good boxing story for you, or fighting story, because they do like fighting and boxing. But the, <coughs> the night obviously started with some alcohol. Now, I don't know if Four Locos or any of the caffeine alcohol combos, beverages still exist, because I know that they outlaw them in some states or something. There used to be this alcohol caffeine combo beverage that I was loaded up on with some friends and we were hyped up and all ready to rock and just that's exactly what we were doing It's just standing out in the parking lot on of course some more ice because it's winter and just standing on frozen water and rocking each other's shit and I got a few licks in my buddy got a few licks in. I got, I hit one good solid punch to the gut and he dropped and dropped and I dropped him straight to the ground, slipping on the ice and he scattered up like a spider and just like got up and stood up and he was all good. And then basically we just kept stop, stop there. But there's good two stories about, uh, about slipping on, on ice and, and like being in winter time and then fighting and other interesting shit. Anyway, if I can recover or recall any of the stuff that I wanted to talk about on this episode, I will, but most likely not. So, I might have to leave it there. It's as long as I wanted to make the show, uh, this episode of this show anyway. And again, I don't have any theme song, any regular song, or, or, or an introduction or anything. It's just, uh, Signing out from season three. Farewell.